Woodstock, Georgia, at the legendary, historic Dixie Speedway. Yes, we are. And we are here to do something a little different. This is not our normal episode where we race somebody, get our butts kicked, go home, improve ourselves, and get our butts kicked again. No, this time we go straight to reconnaissance. That's right. We're here to learn how to go waterless boat racing, which is, it's oval racing with a crappy car, dragging a boat behind it with no trailer. And the goal being finish the race with your boat still attached to your car. Full contact is totally okay. Have you even seen this stuff before? No. I've never seen it in my life. I love drag boat racing. What could go wrong? We're just moving that to land. Right. This is the last event of the program here at Dixie Speedway. It's at the end of the night. So while the professionals are out there racing around in circles really fast, we're gonna go walk the pits and find out who the competition is because we know their strategy here. We know these people are serious about it. We wanna be serious about it and give ourselves the best chance of winning. Okay, so what are we looking for? We need strategy. So there's no roll cage or nothing in here. There's no kind of safety. Well, the rules say we're not supposed to hit car to car, but you can drive right through his boat. So keeping it attached, that's the key, right? Okay, so the whole goal of this is we're gonna get in the car, we're gonna go hit the boat and knock a boat off. Yeah, whoever finishes with the most boat intact, still attached to their car, I think that's who wins. And we can't do no reinforcing? No. Or nothing? It's basically the last boat standing. Could we have a moment of silence for all the metal flake that's just about to get destroyed here? I'm kind of sad. Sure. OK. All right, okay. let's that's go. enough. Yeah. All right, so think about it like this. The prize for winning is only 1000 bucks, right? right? You don't want to blow a bunch of money on a car or a boat. As long as the car stays running. Put a big, gnarly bumper on the front, we're set. Let's go watch. We're going to learn go the most from watching, I yeah. feel like. And have the most fun. Let's go. All right. Okay, so we want a bigger boat. Yeah, look how durable the big boats are. The little boats, you can run right over them. Oh, all oh, right in the wall. Look, look, look. Oh, oh, my God. 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 Wow. What in the Walmart just happened over here? You know, I didn't know if I'd like this, but I really like this. Oh, you got a flat tire. Look at all the smoke. Smoke here, smoke there, smoke there, dude. Look! Oh, he is on top of his chain. The boat is still there. Listen. It doesn't matter what kind of boat. It doesn't matter what kind of car. You just need to survive. Well played, sir. Well played. We just need a reliable car, some kind of boat, and a lot of luck. I love it. It's the greatest American motorsport I've ever seen in my life. It I really can't is. wait to participate. That was and legit. everything I thought I knew, forget about it. Out the door. Yeah, I, I, the only strategy I can think of is durability. Like, nothing matters but durability. That's right. The boat doesn't matter. I don't think the car matters all that much. We just need to keep both of them on the track. Yep. Yeah, and do our job. Yes. Let's go shopping. What did you think of Dixie Speedway? It was interesting. That's your people. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, though. It was something that I'd never seen before. It was awesome. And I feel like it's all strategy. Like, I don't even think the car matters. The car's got to matter. Because we got to make it all the way to the end. And that's the problem with you, is you don't have a strategy. I, I got all kinds of strategy. So we went to Dixie Speedway, we saw the race, we know what to do, and now, whoa. <laughs> we burned his... Uh... The seat's not bolted down. That seat is optional. This is it? This is a 1974 Cadillac. Kinda. <laughs> Kinda? It's missing half its components, but it's got a good motor, good trans, and she's tough. Well, now remember, so the goal is to run over the other people's boats. That's not right. necessarily their vehicle. Having said that, 
I'm glad you got a Cadillac, because if somebody hits the door of this, I'm not gonna worry. Right, it's a big, tough car. Yeah. I was thinking of you. Appreciate that. Yeah. What's it got under the hood? A 472 cubic inch motor. <clears throat> All the cubic inches. Runs awesome, fires right up, it's got a 400 transmission. Dude, it's already it halfway up. gutted. Right. This is great. No, that's the best part, is we don't have to take the glass out or anything. Look at this. Oh, you're right. Well, that's no big deal, dude. That's aerodynamic. Most of the work is done for us. We just gotta, you know, do our modifications and we're ready to party. And like you said, no guilt. Like, this thing yeah. sucks so bad. Yeah. I have no problems modifying this to go waterless boat race. Yeah. At all. Cool. <laughs> Test drive? Yeah. Get in. Let's go. For real? Yeah, let's go for a ride. This is not gonna be a good day. Oh, that's mold. Yeah. Oh, that's all mold. Dude, move your seat. Move. Oh, my God. Move. I'm a, I'm a, oh, God, a rat. I'm Holy a crap. tall drink of what? A rat jumped on my leg. Hey, man, don't be playing a game. For real? Do I need to get out? You're lying. I swear to God. Where did it go? Dave, where did it go? Oh, is that a I don't know. It went towards the back or under the seat. Oh. Ready? I'm going to lift the seat. You look, okay? Okay. See it? No. Is it in the seat? I think it just went back there. That's fine. All right, I'm still game. Let's do this. My blood pressure is real high right now. Dave is such a bad actor. Oh, Let's God. go for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Seeing a rat is one thing. Having it jump on you is something different. What was it going to do? Is it? I don't know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ready? What do you mean ready? Dude, if it comes out, I'm out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. We're probably going to crash, to be honest with you. Here we go. I don't trust him. He's going to push me forward. I ain't doing nothing. Oh, hey, old. I'm helping you. You're not you should be me. thankful that I'm here to keep the seat from falling back on the rat that may or may not be in this car. All right, here's a little jump. I'll try it out. What are you talking about? Yes. Oh, oh! <laughs> That's not good! Stop! Don't worry, I got you. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Dang it! It's not me! Stop it! It's the car, It is right? you! It's not new... Oh, I hate you! <laughs> Stop! I can't reach the pedals anymore. Oh, let me help you. Hold on. <laughs> How about now? Can we get out of this thing for real? Got it. Does the brakes work? Does, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, brakes are soft. Get me out of here. Do you like it? I love it. Let's do this. I yes. like the ride. The ride was really nice. Hey, no, all, all kidding aside, it drives good, right. stops good. I think you're okay. Get out before the rack gets us. Come on. Yeah, I'm down. Let's go. All right, so I think it ran out of fuel. It was sputtering. Now it won't start, so we're going to put some fuel in it. Fired up, man. Timing's junk. So far, oh, oh, you just needed me. All right. I mean, we got it running, that's the biggest thing. So now we're gonna pull it in and assess what we gotta do here and get this thing done. Stop. <laughs> oh. Hold on, my foot. Will it do it? That was weak. <laughs> I like this car. <laughs>